Hello all you wonderful YouTubers, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be learning about channels, and their uses, how you how you kind of work with them and whatnot, because they're kind of a pain, and just a little bit of automation. So, let's get started. First and foremost, I've got a kind of a system going on here, where... I basically am trying to automate charcoal. Oh, let's just say charcoal. Yeah, it's going to be charcoal. All right, and I want to just toss a crafting monitor onto here. What? We're missing a channel. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Okay, it's online. Sweet. All right, so we can access the system and whatnot. So let's start configuring what is set up to kind of, you know, accept things and then move from there and then we'll we'll set up uh, a thing on the bob to kind of show you how it works. Let's see. I'll be working with white. Wait. What? 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 You're not even connected to anything. What are you talking about? You crazy. You cray cray. You're not even connected. That was connected, right? All right. Whatever. It's it's cray cray. It's obviously cray cray. It has no idea what it's talking about. Okay. Moving on. Please, let me out. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to load the system up with wood. A lot, a lot, a lot of wood. All right. Now, here comes lag. Come on, lag. Yeah, lag. Okay. So, do, 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 do. I shouldn't have typed that in. Oh, well, that should be the last time we're using that. Okay, thankfully. Yeah, search is kind of laggy. This, it's still a buggy buggy thing. Alright, loading up all of our wood. Let's get more. I want I want a lot of wood. All the wood. All the freaking wood. Alright, so I think what we'll do is about like 3,000 wood and yeah, we can leave it at that. Okay. So from here what we're going to do is grab out one piece of charcoal and one piece of wood and from here what we could do is clear that and I think it's used on this I'm a bobber. All right so oak wood and now what we'll do is then take the blank memory card and see if that works. Did you load the settings? Sweet! All right so we do that on all the the export buses, so there, 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 and to clear it, I just shift right click into the air, and to make a setting, I shift right click it onto the device, just just in case you were wondering. Okay, so there, do 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 Sorry, it's kind of boring. All right, there we go. So all the export buses are configured. Now we shift right click to clear the settings, and then we'll put charcoal into there. Shift right click onto there, and then we do the same thing throughout everything else. So do 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 do. All right. That's the first row of them. And here, no, there, okay. There, there. And I really like the effects on these, this AE system. It looks so cool. All right, so moving on, let's move on to the uh, basics of how to set one up. So you saw how to kind of automate everything. As you can see, wood's in here, and charcoal's being pulled out instantly as it's made. Oh, almost instantly. Okay, so let's move on to actually setting the entire thing up. So from here, I have I have export buses along the top, import buses along the side, and then I have smart cable running here. Okay, so what we do here then is I'm going to put a P2P ME system on here. And now you can use any cable, uh, any smart cable, just as long as it doesn't really connect to anything else. And then I'll put one P2P ME 
there with that side facing out up and this side facing out okay I will then place anchors here 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 and here and these are to prevent it from connecting other things we don't want it basically having needless channels connected to it okay and then we have a cable anchor there so it doesn't connect to that and since they're different colors it won't connect to basically like the other non-white colored cables so smart cable white and then we'll place you okay unfortunately that's a white cable so it just so happens that I pressed that wrong so instead of kind of knocking off everything I'm just gonna do that shift right click with a network tool to uh, prevent me from like knocking off the entire area which is kind of a pain then I have to hook everything back up all right and then what we'll do from here is hook you up you 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 and as you can see it's connecting to the anchor but not to the thing itself now we have to provide power to these things because I anchored them so they don't connect to them Therefore, they have no power. So what we'll do down here is actually hook up one here. And then we'll take our quartz fiber cable. This is power only, no data. So it won't take up any channels. Perfect. Okay. So now we got power, I think. Yeah, yeah. Power will connect to there as soon as we just provide it with the settings that it needs. So we're going to take our wonderful, wonderful memory card. And we're going to shift right click onto this P2P tunnel right here. It's an ME tunnel. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll right click it here and here. And if you ever find you're not getting enough channels, like then you probably ran out of channels on your ME cable. So keep that in mind. So try to avoid running out of channels. See, as you can see here, we got like 19 channels running through here, like a ridiculous amount of channels. Okay, and let's take a look here. We got everything hooked up. This should now be communicating and asking for stuff and whatnot. See, we got charcoal, we got oak. So that's all set up. Perfect. It's, it's running perfectly. Now to kind of explain what's going on here, if you run out of channels, if like this is 8 of 8 and this is receiving 0 out of 8, this device won't come online. And the whole reason we're using tunnels is because it gives us, it, it basically gives us a ton of channels. Well, not really a ton of channels, it lets us take this as one channel connected to that and one channel down here and then we split it off into the eight channels from here. So this only uses up one channel when it's trying to communicate from there to there. It kind of lets us bypass using multiple channels and lets us use all the channels down here, if that makes sense. So whereas this is one channel to here, this is branched off into two channels and then these branch off into eight channels. So that's kind of how it works. And if I connect it to anything else, like if I connected this pink cable to this pink cable, it would really confuse it. Like it would start using channels and it would not be happy. So that's that's why we kind of kept them split up. And you can use different colored cables so they don't get connected up that easily. So that's the basic of channels. Now, let's say if like you didn't like that, like three of these is not enough. Let's just say that, okay? All you would have to do is basically say, let's remove that and get a controller. So give me a controller. All right. And then all we'd have to do is add more controllers onto the system. And there, now we can put more ME um, tunnels or we can put more tunnels on this thing and this just becomes an amazing system and then you can always split up the flukes cable like these except up to 32 channels so if you ever run into issues with that you can actually start running different flukes different dense flukes cable and the nice thing about flukes cable is it accepts every color so yeah that, that's pretty freaking awesome it it's really customizable system so i hope this was an informative video and just to kind of expand on this the export buses take stuff from the system and the import buses put stuff into the system. So we're using export buses to take stuff out of the system and place it in here 
and then put, uh, removing the stuff from the device and moving it back into the system with the import buses. And over here we have our drives and whatnot. So yeah, that's our functional system. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.